As of the reset on July 19th, along with the Solstice event patch, a few underused weapon archetypes are receiving a few PvP damage buffs to bring them in line with the current sandbox. Of those changes, the high impact 150 RPM scout rifles will be getting a competitive edge. There's an old hidden gem raid scout rifle that could potentially ascend to a new level, especially in the right hands. Hi, it's Pigeon. Today we're looking at the Transfiguration High Impact Scout Rifle, which is a random drop from all encounters within the Last Wish raid. If you just so happen to be watching as of the reset on the 19th of July, this is the best time to secure this drop, as the Last Wish will be the weekly featured raid, allowing you to farm the encounters over and over again. I believe the most efficient method will be to farm the Riven encounter, doing whichever strat you find easiest to one floor her. This could be spin to wind swords or wave frame grenade launchers, I'll be sure to link an easy to follow guide below. You'll then farm up 5 ethereal keys and cash them all in at once after completing a queen's walk. Then rinse and repeat. Doing this right should also complete the strength of memory challenge which means you'll gain an additional drop each time you beat Riven. Now the reason I've chosen this particular scout rifle is because it has the ability to roll with damage perks in both its final columns. As well as being only one of two that are available to drop in the game right now. In the third column Rampage makes a very rare appearance with Kill Clip available in the fourth column. By the way, if you just so happen to be one of the lucky people who secured this roll with drop mag before it was taken out of the pair pool, it's time to dust it off. As for those less lucky, look for Arrowhead Break along with either Tactical Mag or Alloy Magazine and spec up with scout loaders as fast reloading after securing a kill is essential. And now for the meat of this video, the crispy two taps. Here I'd like to shout out court projects of the Destiny Massive Breakdowns community and Fade and Shadow who was able to run by all the theoretical numbers you'll see in today's video. Their links will all be down below, so please do check them out. Please note that these numbers apply to PvP only and have all been calculated theoretically, although I'm fairly certain they should be accurate on the day. As of the patch, 150 RPM scouts will now do 73.5 to the head and 42 damage on body shots. With Solar 3.0, we also have access to the Radiant buff, which in PvP gives us a 10% weapon damage increase. That small help from Radiant is enough to aid us in getting the initial kill to then go on a two tapping spree. So here's how it all breaks down. By securing a kill and activating kill clip, this will allow you to two shot precision kill guardians up to tier 7 resilience. Doing the same while becoming radiant on top of this secures a two shot precision kill on all tiers of resilience. I'd like to point out that hunters with acrobats dodge and the dragon shadow exotic chest piece should have relative ease pulling this combo off. Now this is where we get the ball rolling. Securing a kill and reactivating kill clip with any amount of stacks of Rampage will then also allow you to 2 tap precision kill all Resilience Guardians, no Radiant needed. On the off chance you're against a Guardian with 0 Resilience, then you can easily 1 crit 1 body them with Kill Clip activated and 2 times Rampage stacks. I'd also like to point out if you have access to the Rampage spec mod, be sure to have this on as it'll allow you 4.5 seconds to chain kills, keeping Rampage going. With Kill Clip activated and 2 stacks of Rampage, Going Radiant once again will allow you to 1 crit, 1 body, all Resilience tiers again. Finally, probably one of the harder scenarios to pull off, if you activate Kill Clip with 3 stacks of Rampage, this should allow you to 1 crit, 1 body, all tiers of Resilience without Radiant active. Your damage potential doesn't stop with Radiant though, you could also have a Titan Bubble available on your team, well of Radiance, and in some cases activating High Energy Fire is also an option to look out for. So if you're jumping into PvP when the Solstice event goes live, then don't be surprised if you get shut down from afar by an enemy transfiguration. I'll be doing all things Solstice over on my Twitch channel over at twitch.tv forward slash pigeon. I'll be interested to see how the two tap potential evolves in game. It's a very niche but fun way to play when all the parts are moving. Please be sure to leave me a comment below if you find this useful, a small thumbs up and a subscription to help the channel grow and I'll see you guys in the next one.